25 years old, walking home from a class I was taking in dental school. Spot a homeless woman on the street who was no older than me, maybe 23 at most. I didn't want to be rude and walk around her, stop and say hello to her. She seemed scared and worried. She was extremely dirty but had eyes that looked like humble pools of water. We talked for a little bit. Grew up hearing homeless people just enjoy human contact. Wanted to make her feel more human, besides I didn't have any money on me. Eventually find out that she was kicked out by her parents when she was 20 and she's been roaming the streets ever since. It almost disgusted me to think she was a 7 out of 10 while I was talking to her, but she didn't smell all that bad. Feeling charitable, I offer her a shower and a meal at my house. She's still very shy, but she had that humble and thankful look in her eyes. Start walking back to my apartment while my neighbors are giving us dirty looks. We reach my door, walk inside, and I direct her to the bathroom. My ex had luckily left some of her shower supplies, so she could use those for today. She comes out of the shower after about 35 minutes, wrapped in a towel with a pile of filthy washcloths. She's a solid 8 out of 10 without the dirt. Give her a few of my ex's clothes. Nothing fancy, but enough to make her look like a proper lady. While she was washing up, I made a simple pasta and red bean salad. She bursts into tears while we're eating. No one has ever been this nice to me. I can't repay you, but if you want... You're a lovely woman, but it wouldn't be right. A look of relief washes over her face, and I know I did the right thing. We finish eating in silence, and she asks if I can take her back to her spot. I walk her home with a few extra clothes, some soap, a blanket, and the leftovers. Get to the spot, and she tears up and gives me a kiss on the cheek. She thanks me for everything and says that she'll never forget me. I walk by her spot most days after class. Sometimes I'll bring some dinner for us or sometimes lunch before class. We quickly become pretty good friends. I do this nearly every day for about two months straight. During this time, she landed a job at Panera Bread and started supplying some of the meals for us. She takes showers normally once a week at a nearby shelter now. It looks like she's pretty much back on her feet, but she is still homeless. After our meals, she gives me a kiss on the cheek like the first night before I leave. Decide to invite her back again one night, joking that a change of setting could be nice. We get to my house and she nearly pounces on me. Wildly kissing each other, not even thinking about what she could possibly have. Didn't even matter to me at this point and we had sex for nearly three hours. She legitimately put all of her gratitude into it. I don't see her for about a week afterwards. Decide I should see a doctor and check if I caught anything. Everything came back negative. We keep doing our lunches and dinners again and occasionally come back to my place afterwards. It's been about another two months now since she started working at Panera and she has an actual bit of money saved up. Feels right to make us an official couple. She moves in with me. I was skeptical when she moved in. Previous girlfriends had robbed me before and I didn't really know what to expect with her. We have great passionate sex the first night she moved in and we pass out next to each other. I wake up in this really nice fog, not wanting to get out of bed. Roll over to look at her. She's gone. Oh, God damn it! I'm a fucking dumbass. I know everything valuable is going to be missing now. I start to smell something either on fire or just a strange burning smell. Immediately run to the kitchen and find her standing there with a horrified look on her face. She was trying to cook eggs and had just burnt them a bit. I'm completely relieved at the sight and reassure her that everything is fine. Every day after that, we would leave the apartment together. I'd walk her to work, walk around the city on my own until lunch, then go to class. I'd walk to her after class and walk her home after work. It was a nice little schedule that we had built. We would both be so tired from working class that we would just crash back at our place. This went on for several months and it completely felt like heaven. She was extremely loyal and thankful too, almost like how a rescue dog would do anything for its new owner. That's, that's not the best analogy I know, but it's all I can think of right now. The time she spent working at Panera helped her pick up some great cooking skills. Her sandwiches tasted amazing with all the love and gratitude she would sneak in as well. 
After my semester was over, I graduated with a DDS and joined a really nice practice. She kept working at Panera, bringing whatever she could, but I was making serious money now. At this point, I'm 27 and she's 26. We are the happiest people on earth. In that year of dating, I never found her sleeping around, stealing, and she had fully kicked her past drug habits. I knew that I found the right girl. It's been five years since I met Grace. We are happily married now and are expecting our first son in a few months. There are some nights I find her crying at the kindness I showed her that first night, but she doesn't realize how lucky I am to have polished that diamond I found in the gutter.